I'm the Vice President for Enrollment, and welcome to the class of 2019. <laughs> Early this year, the New York Times released an article explaining that Colorado College has more students from the top 1% than from the bottom 60. 78% of us come from the top 20, 2% from the bottom 20. I'm in that 2%. I'm not your typical CC student, and I know that, but this article made everything harder to ignore. Why is Colorado College so filled with inequality? How do we get more low-income students like me here? I remember that I wouldn't be here without financial aid, so I figured that's the best place to start asking questions. Is it easier to get to CC if you don't need financial aid? We have more students here who are not receiving financial aid than we have those that are. So from a number standpoint, I would have to say, right, I'm an accountant. From a number <laughs> standpoint, that answer would have to be yes. We could absolutely be need blind and do all of the things that we want to do from a financial aid standpoint. We need to have a cost benefit discussion. Where's it coming from? Right. What are you willing to give up? Right. Nothing's free. What are we willing to give up? I don't know. Maybe a $40 million library, an absurdly well-funded outdoors culture, the decadent food, or venture grants, where the school pays for anything from research to skiing trips. Each of these things uses money that could otherwise bring more students like me here. Talking to students of color on campus and lower socioeconomic students is that they feel surprised, that they, this wasn't what they thought they were getting themselves into. How realistic can you guys be to them uh, so that no one here comes and is like surprised to find Sure, this my honest answer is I think there's a lot of things about the college admissions world that's broken. Should we do more? Yes. Um, should colleges like CC stop being competitive with one another, take on a higher responsibility to serve populations that are underserved? Yes. Um, on the other hand, um, it really comes down to uh, uh, a challenge that I would give to students, to faculty and staff, what could we do without? What could we cut? What, would, could we... what do you think we should give up? What do I think we should yeah. give up? Because from someone that sees the budgets. Mm -hmm. Nothing, to mm -hmm. be frank. But I keep thinking about when they took the taco bar away and people <laughs> were up in arms about it. It's easy to say I don't care when it doesn't immediately affect you. There are a lot of events that we are funding that are over $5,000 at over $10,000. Rail Jam is an example of a costly event here at CC. Nobody needs to truck in hundreds of pounds of snow to ski on a hill in 70 degree weather. They want to. This is luxury. Most people don't just give that up unless they have to. Many people here live lives of plenty and see no reason to change that. They can't see the people that don't have a chance to go to college or the people that aren't included here on campus. It's weird though because it really is amazing, and I must admit it, 1% party culture is pretty phenomenal. Would you say that you're part of the 1%? Definitely. Apparently, my oldest sister had talked to my dad about it, and he said that he makes um, like a million or over a year. What's the most privileged thing that you've done in your life? Honestly, I think the most, like the greatest display of like my family's wealth is the fact that I'm here. So if you did if your family didn't have the wealth you did, you don't think you got into CC? Yeah, definitely. Definitely not. I mean, I don't think I'm like not smart enough to be here, but I definitely didn't put in the work. So here at CC, do you feel like you fit in with um, having being from the 1%? Yeah, definitely. Not everyone at CC is in the 1%. Some of us come from lower and middle class backgrounds. We tend to stick together. I've grown up in Philly all my life. Philadelphia is, last time I checked, it's about 50% African American. And that in itself is just like very different. Are you on financial aid here at CC? Yes, sir. I think I have to pay like 2000 a year. What part of CC makes you feel like you this isn't for you? This house is kind of like one of the only places that I feel, feel like I kind of belong. Mm -hmm. This is the ethnic inclusion house or whatever. What's the, where's Anna? What's the glass house known for? Like. Social Justice House, it kind of, like, every day after class, I just, like, come here. 
because I don't like feel that comfortable anywhere else. Mm. So my dad, who makes about $12,000 a year, mm. and my mom has steadily been getting promotions because she borrowed a ton of money. I think a mom, she has six kids, and a lot of them still rely on her for financial support. So she's trying to pay her school loans, pay her rent, like keep my little sister in a school district that has a basketball team so she can play ball. Like, <laughs> um, <laughs> I am currently, I had to borrow $9,000 last year, and then when the cost of the school went up, I borrowed twelve this year. So I'm 21 in debt, continually frustrated by, I think just the, the processes that one has to go through on top of being in school, you know, to try to have access to the same resources and opportunities as higher income students. It's frustrating as hell. Um, I would say I'm lower middle class. I applied to Harvard. New York University, School of Mines, uh, UCCS, Dallas, and I got into all of them. You got into Harvard? Yeah. And you turned it down for CC? Yeah. Why? <laughs> it wasn't fun. I really don't like lecture halls where I'm going to be in a class of 200 to 300 students and I'm just a number versus going to CC where I'm actually a person. Do you feel like you belong at CC? At the moment, yes. And at the same time, no. Um, yes, and the fact that I'm a CC student, I go to classes, I do what I can. In terms of involvement on the campus, I, I really don't feel like I am a part of the culture. I don't fit in with the norm, and because of that, I'm not a part of it. I get what he means about not fitting in. A lot of people on campus do. They're just pretty quiet about it. I'm not from a place like CC, and today I miss it. I'm going to see Mom an accomplished human being, just not in a typical CC way. With a 3.77, I could have very easily worked my way up, but I chose not to. Then years later, I said, if I'd known I was gonna have five boys four and a half years apart, I could have put all that money away. <laughs> but I didn't, so. it's It was a struggle here and there, you know, but overall, I wanted to see Montana at 7.30 in the morning in the middle of nowhere by myself so I could just smell the dew rising. That's part of why I chose not to use my economics degree. But it's a great opportunity. That's how you should treat it. It's a really, really good opportunity. And yes, more people should be afforded that opportunity. So that happens, thank your lucky stars that you're one of the lucky ones. I'm very proud of you for doing going there. Very proud. I hear it's an excellent program.